you guys. We are here in Taiwan, we're here in Taipei City, baby. We are passing one of the metro stations. We are staying right in the city center, which is perfect location, I have to say. We are on our way now to the first stop. So we are heading down the street. We're getting into the busier areas, that's for sure. There's lots more people around here right now. It's a small island, but it's home to a lot of people. Good morning to you, sir. Good morning, excited to be in Taipei. First time here, heard a lot about the place. It's the size of Belgium, but it has 23 to 25 million people living here. The roads do not look chaotic whatsoever. Like it seems very systematic, very orderly. There's no chaos, as you can see. The green man's up, let's go. Yay. <laughs> also, no jaywalking here. So that's another good thing as well. Oh my goodness, you guys. Well, we are walking along the way look we have like these i don't know they're not manhole covers i actually think they're like dedicated stone kind of thing but they have like pictures of different things this is the architecture of the clock tower and there's like a little um bit of writing here i don't know if you guys can read it but that is so cool i love the way they've done that that's nice and unique area you guys we took a 10 minute walk from our accommodation down to this area we've got shops we've got restaurants clothes you have souvenirs so many different cafes around here as well you guys this is crazy oh, some korean food as well ah there's some korean food right here maybe some gimbap Mm. Chiboki. But I think this is quite a touristy area. Oh, daily fresh handmade pearls. Ah, I think this is Taiwan's most famous bubble tea. Look at this cute. Everybody is waiting for some bubble tea. Should we? Some next level bubble tea then. Yeah, I mean, you know, if there is a cute, it has to be something iconic, right? But we're at the crossroads, and honestly, I thought this was all pedestrianised, but there's loads of vehicles down here right now. We're at another rainbowy kind of road. Look at this. That's just so much colour here. I bet this place looks absolutely completely different at night. What is this? Is that real? Yeah, it's legit. I mean, they're not iPhone 15s or anything, but it's actually a legit iPhone. You can always tell where the hot spots are or where people enjoy eating because it will be the busiest shops and the ones with the biggest queues, huh? Yeah, I mean, we've already seen a few places with queues going and just to give you guys an idea, it's not even the afternoon yet, it's still morning. This is why I love the energy here in Taiwan. I really want to try a bubble tea yeah i was gonna say i'm looking everywhere we're like too excited too distracted but i really want to try bubble tea because we're obsessed with it anyway like we absolutely love oh, yeah. to have it so on there should be bubble tea everywhere there's one there ah one here there's one here I was gonna say, I feel like these shops all down the side should have something. I'll have a look. This has got some shaved ice. Ooh. That's some Ooh, mango ice cream and bits. Oh, desserts. Cool. Shaved ice. We have drinks yeah, here. They, they have got it. bubble tea. You ah. got bubble tea? Brown sugar, like a bubble tea. You yeah. wanna have bubble tea or brown sugar? Bubble? Brown and one. I'm one brown sugar. Yes. Okay, one yeah. bubble, one brown sugar. Perfect. Okay, okay. one hundred and twenty. So we're gonna order two bubble teas. I think they're like the same, but one has brown sugar, so. There we go. Thank you. Okay. Amazing. Double thumbs up. Brown sugar. Brown sugar. Oh, that is so quick. Let's try it. This is the brown sugar one. Um. Oh, here Yum. we are. Thank you, Chiche. Thank you. Yummy. That was really quick. That was so super speedy. And that's not bad, 120 for two drinks. Perfect way to start the morning. That's what we're talking about. That's the proper induction to Taiwanese life. What better way to start your day than with bubble tea? The level of sugar, perfect, really good. Let's do milk teas in Taiwan. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like Taiwanese people are very in tune with their fashion sense. 
very trendy, very stylish. I'm liking this. Right next to this one, we've got trainers, we've got sneakers. Stylish people, Taiwanese. In this sort of region, everybody's really fashionable. Everyone's dressed up so nice. And like with the latest shoes and like really nice coats and just really cool outfits. Prim and proper, yeah. yeah. So everywhere you see right now, you will see three things. Yeah. You will see lots of restaurants and cafes. You will see clothing stores and definitely claw machines. <laughs> oh, and photo booths. Oh. We have loads of them here as well. These have got really cool props. Come, let's go. You can wear that. And then you can wear the Goku outfit. Get it no, up. that is actually brilliant. It comes with the hair and everything. That is epic. I want to wear the six pack. <laughs> do it, do it, do it. I feel like Santa's princess. Look at this. Found a little crown. Found a little. You're gown. really pulling this off, though. We found these. And. Flowers. That's like a wedding. And now for Taz's reveal because it's so funny, it's hilarious. One, two, three. Coco's here! <laughs> it had to be done, guys. I just had to do it. With the hair, the band, the Goku top, and everything, even the wristband here. We're at Cut Cut by the way, that's the name of the photo booth. So when you come up the steps, it's right here. Look at that, that's us there. So if you guys see this, take a photo, send it to us on Insta. If you don't follow us there already, all right, go ahead, check us out, daily updates. This has been some amazing first impressions of the city. Taipei has been so much fun. I had no idea that Taiwan has a photo booth culture as well. Loving it, love, love, love it. Food culture as well, like so much colour. This street has been so much fun. It's not exactly a street per se, it's like the area of Xi Men Ding, the main Times Square of Taipei. I'm really loving it. Hello, what did you see? Then there's things like the claw machine studio there, wait, again. There's two, there's one here and one next door. Oh, what? oh yeah, I see it. That one? Yeah. There's one here as well. Okay, what do they have? They have some care bears. Oh. Yes. These are like little kiwis. That's kind of cute. <laughs> this? Oh, it's Tom and Jerry. We know them. I feel out of sync. I don't know any of like these characters. <laughs> is it like is ten that... everywhere? Yeah, oh yeah, ten. yeah, yeah, yeah. Here, ten dollars. This is cool. So this is like what a Taipei white thing. Any claw machine that you go to, I think so. it's all ten dollars. You got the change, don't you? I have ten. Yeah. I'm just gonna have a quick look. Look, you got some banana milk. You got some straw. <laughs> what? That, that is bonkers. Is Guys, if you're feeling hungry, right, have a go at this, yeah? Ten dollars, see if you can win yourself a strawberry flavoured milk, banana flavoured milk. Why not, eh? Why not? What have you got here? Airpods. Legit, let's do this. There's more! <laughs> which ones, which ones? Alright, here goes nothing. Our first go at a claw machine in Taipei. Ready? Which one are you going for? I'm going for the Tigger. This one here? <gasps> it's moving, yeah. Right, go, 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 make it count. Oh, First no. time lucky, beginner's luck. Drop it. Oh, damn it. Oh, it's... oh, 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 oh my oh, gosh, oh. I got so excited then. That was so no. close. Come, there's so many guys. Away from this, you guys, otherwise, we will be spending We're getting too hooked on this. Money here. I think we will end up spending so much money on these floor machines because that's fun. Hey, ho, you win some, you lose some. In this case, we've lost more than winning anything <laughs> whatsoever. <laughs> it's the fun, the entertainment value that counts at the moment. I heard about this, you guys. They have different themed 7 Eleven. I think there's about like 11 or 12, but this. It's a Lay's one! 
Look at this! Should we go inside and see what's happening? Of course! This is so cool! Let's see what's happening in here! Wow, look! Lays everywhere! We've got a Lays match! We've got a skateboard here as well! We've got bits here on display! What is that? Cushions, helmets, you name it! You've got some Pepsi in there as well! There's flip-flops! <laughs> look That's at this! So cool. I am loving this theme! That is meant to be Lays foosball as well! Umbrella. Yeah, she needs some for the rain. Pepe's very rainy in winter, I have to say. Alright, flavours. Wagyu flavoured. Wagyu flavoured. That sounds good. Mentai. Mentai cold chicken. chicken. Oh, What's that? I have no idea, but that looks yum. And I've not seen these anywhere. No, it's spicy pepper squid. Okay, these are your usual mm. ones, right? Hot chilli, scallops. I am interested in Wagyu and some spicy pepper squid as well. This one looks like this is limited edition Menteco chicken. Yeah, I think I want to try that one. Yeah, what, the Menteco chicken? Yeah. Like Pringles as well. So, Lay's Pringles, eh? I don't know what um, flavours these are though, because they're not written. But this is chicken, I reckon. This is this is, this is Wagyu again, yeah, I, I guess. This one. We've got like some um, rich Deep ones. Deep rich. Well. my favourite kind. Oh, awesome. I am liking this. Yeah. I don't know, guys. Is this special edition or do you normally get this in Taiwan? This one is inspired by Tokyo Cuisine, and this one is inspired by Taipei Cuisine. We're gonna do rock, paper, scissor. Rock, one, paper, two, three. Yes. Oh, you always know that I go with scissors first. <laughs> All right, which one are you going for? I'm gonna do a nice thing, you choose. I'll go with this one. That is so cool. What is it? I mean, it's not just Lay's here. There's like a normal 7-Eleven stuff as well. So you can come here for your weekly shop, daily shop, whatever you fancy. Got some ramen and bits here. Look at this on the ceiling. Oh, wait. Okay. I just realised. <laughs> it literally is like your normal 7-Eleven, but they've got like some extra little themed bits in it. It just makes it fun. I quite like it. So this entire street has so much graffiti everywhere and some pretty cool ones as well. Like whoever's done it, amazing, incredible job. On this side as well, Transformers, love Transformers. Goes all the way up. This must have taken quite a while. Oh my gosh, it goes everywhere, like all the way to the side as well. Wow, this is epic. Look at that, well done. It is, but well, literally, I thought I saw Libby somewhere because the whole idea was to uh, find a place where we can sit somewhere and enjoy our lays slash walkers. Look at that. I've taken a seat in Japan actually. In uh, Ichiban, yeah this looks very Japanese. Ichiban, Kieran. Cherry blossoms. You've got cherry blossoms as well. Where are we? Is this Japan or is this Taiwan? We're just going to sit here and enjoy our lays. Yay! Are you going to do the honours? Ready? Japan, I will give that. An 8 out of 10. Yeah, I thought they were going to be spicy, but they're not spicy at all. Hey, what is menteco? Men menteco? I don't even know if we're saying that right, but they're nice. I like them. Let's see what else we get up to here in beautiful Taipei. So, let's go. Guys, we're going to go I think about three stops on Metro and take you to our next stop of the day. So this was all underwater. That doesn't fill me up with a lot of confidence. Well, let's just hope there's no typhoon now. Wow, I'm surprised. So the typhoon caused a lot of damage. I think it said 17th of September 2001. And this entire floor Would have been was underwater. No way. Very nice, very orderly here. There's no chaos as such. It is busy, but everyone's nicely waiting, queuing up. We'll queue up here. Look, there's little roars here as well. I mean, the seat layout is a bit different. Normally, you sit facing each other, don't you? Yeah, normally you sit like yeah. on the edge of the uh -huh. train. Like Not here. 
A few moments later. Finally found Tito. We did, yeah. This is what I mean. So we're facing the doors right now. There. And you've got a seat sideways. They're facing each other. This is our stop as well. And we're yeah. riding backwards. <laughs> not in the direction of travel. This is our stop. Okay, which way is exit? Exit is that way. Next stop coming up. Let's go. Wow, you guys. Look. Uh, well, we've just arrived too. Wow. Okay, I think this is the National Theatre, you guys. We actually came out to the Chiang Kai Shek Memorial Hall Square, I believe, if I'm not wrong. This is so beautiful. This is what I imagine like buildings to look like. You know, the architecture is just super impressive. It's like the, the roof that I absolutely love. All the red, the gold, the green, the intricate details. Stunning. This is insane. The sheer size of this place. Wow, huge. Go, 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 go. <laughs> Yay. It is ginormous. What is this? The National Theatre? Yes. Wow. Such a grand structure. Looks beautiful. Taiwan, so far you've been impressing us. I mean, that is some gate and a half. Yeah, wow. Cool. Just when you think this can't get any better. Look at that one there. What is going on here, Taiwan? Your architecture is beautiful. This is all the Memorial Square, I think. So this is basically to commemorate the former president of Taiwan, Chiang Kai-shek. Can you imagine walking through them gates all the way down to that memorial building there. You've got this on the side, to your left, and then to your right, you've got the National Theatre. Wow. And the day's looking beautiful as well. Blue skies, a little bit of cloud, but nothing that's looking like it's going to come down heavy so that's good fingers crossed we've had taiwan rains quite a bit like the north side in uh, winter okay. it's uh, very rainy but so far so good oh look at that i don't know if you guys can see that in the distance right down there uh, that is taipei 101 i'm so excited to go check that place out as well you don't really comprehend the size no. when you enter the complex back there this is massive can I just say the architecture here in Taiwan so far has been very culturally impressive. <laughs> that is really cool. A mix of both contemporary and, and old. So we are just walking up right now the 89 steps to the 70 meters tall memorial. Wow. <laughs> This 89 steps is actually the age at which the former president passed away at. So some special significance there, you guys. Wow. So it's not just random number of steps. No, it's and the for blue on the top is a royal blue tile as well. And like the, the blue and the white are supposed to be important colors for Taiwan as well, as per the flag. I had no idea about this. I thought 89 steps, that's a bit random. Could have been 90, could have been 100, <laughs> but is the age when the president passed away <laughs> would you say we're halfway there maybe i'm out of breath already need to work on my cardio a little bit <laughs> the height of this place is 70 meters what's the height 70 70 meters tall this looks way higher than 70 meters i'll be honest okay finally there here we are that is a massive statue in there as well look at that majestic magical dome up there as well that is grand and i just read the sign out the front they do a changing of the guards here on the hour so what's the time right now you ask time right now is 20 to 3. so 20, oh, 20 minutes time and they're going to do a little change of the guards Ooh, we climbed 89 steps so i want to see the change of guards now <laughs> such a cool site like the discipline that comes with it as well that was brilliant 
here's what the views are like from up here wow absolutely amazing we made it wow when they finished that at the end as well there was like someone who went round and like pulled like down their uniform and like dusted their boots and made sure like their gloves were pulled up properly and their hat was straight that's crazy it's time to head over to our next spot so let's go welcome to our next stop that i've been really looking forward to seeing uh i don't know if i can get this all in one frame there we are we can we can there it is oh my gosh that is some next level engineering very impressive give me one second let's move back a little bit so i can uh get the entire building in one frame that would be epic i think for that i'm gonna have to go really far there's bits on bits everywhere there's a horse carriage there's a little uh, carousel merry-go-round ginormous we are here at taipei 101 oh my days that is tall oh used to be the tallest once upon a time but not anymore the tallest building in the world now is in dubai Burj khalifa very very tall but i bet the view from all the way up there will be epic from the observation deck so taipei 101 opened on the 31st of december in 2004 and it was the world's tallest building the tallest skyscraper Should we just do it? Let's check the availability of the tickets and see if they're available. We don't have anything right now, but if you can find them, absolutely, I'm down. A few moments later, we found tickets for 4 30. What's the time right now? 10 past 4. Oh, that is sick. We don't have to wait too long then. Are you booking it? I am. I'm booking it now. Go, go, go. The weather looks epic. Sun's out, the sky's blue. Let's go all the way to 101st floor. We made it inside, you guys, and there was a huge queue behind us for like the ticketing line. But we actually found these kiosks. Yay! So we okay. just bypassed the entire queue. That Do you know worked. that was the best hack ever? That's stressful. Look at this queue right now. So we tried doing it online. We couldn't do it because it was long. Then we were thinking we can't actually do it here on site, but we've been able to. The queue here is that long instead what we've done is and if you guys are thinking about coming here as well there's ticket kiosk there with no queue whatsoever got our ticket Woo! now we just need to see where to go where's the lip star where's she gone i don't know where we have to go now she's just taken off she's gone somewhere now i need to find her and the time starts oh there she is where's the entrance let's go let's go this was so spontaneous we actually had zero plans of coming up here but we were like do you know what let's do it here one why not and so far we are loving taiwan but yeah these are all of the people here with their uh, tickets already so hopefully it's going to be a quick fast moving queue fingers crossed So this seems to be the world's fastest elevator. Oh, it's got records for it. Look there is? Yeah. Look at that. It's the world's fastest passenger elevator. It, now we know, eh? Crazy for me. Now this makes me even more excited. So we will be all the way up on the 89th floor. 89th floor in less than 30 seconds. I'm looking forward to that one. Fastest elevator in the world, guys. Wow. Guys, we made it up to the 89th floor of Taiwan 101. I think we can go up like one or two more floors, but this is crazy. Wow, look at this. Oh my gosh, we're so tall. Wow. It's the right time as well. Oh my goodness, you guys, look at this. This is insane. Wow. 
We could see Taipei 101 from Chiang Kai-shek Memorial. We could see it from there. Wow. And I think it is 5.9 kilometers this way, and then we have Dai Dao Cheng as well. Maybe this way. I don't know. Look at that view. We have the sun setting over here. The side's looking beautiful. That is madness. That is so freaking beautiful. Wow. Find a nice little quiet corner. All right, guys. If you have where to go, this ain't the place for you. But look at the winter sun going down. I wonder if you can go up any further than this. We're on the 89th floor. Okay, under maintenance, I can't use this. What's the views like here? We seem to have a, a running track down there. And, uh, got another one here. Quite an emphasis on staying fit here in Taiwan. That is impressive. Giving you guys a nice little free tour of Taipei 101. Show you what the observation deck's like. If you guys don't make it to Taiwan, no problem, hang back, sit tight, and enjoy the views from here. Nice little photo session going on. Oh, this is where, of course, this is where the New Year celebrations happen as well. I bet it must be a sight to behold. Look at that. Again, I can't believe it. There's just so much color here as well. Like, this has to be the most stylish, the most colorful observation that we've ever been to anywhere in the world. Like, look at this. That is cool. I am amazed by this, you guys. I'm very happy that we came up here actually as well because it looks so cool, so beautiful, and it's always so amazing to see somewhere from up so high. We were just discussing, you guys, what on earth is this dome here? And also this little yellow thing. It's got a huge, like, maybe a fountain in front of it, and then there's like a park here with a big lake. But honestly, the roads here in Taipei are ginormous. They have four lanes on each side of the road. And with the yellow taxis, it's really giving me like those New York vibes, you know? So we can go up two more floors. Yeah, it's nine, no, 91. 91. 90 now. So you can't go in 90 as such because there's nothing bad to see. No. This is the, the tallest, the highest floor. 91. Most people have stopped on 89. I don't think they know that they can make their way up here as well. Look at this! Welcome to Empire State Building! And this is where you can see the sunset! Oh yeah! I'm so glad it's not a cold day because the wind here is pretty next level. <laughs> windy. Wow, that looks beautiful! That is stunning! So it's gorgeous! It's perfect time to come as well. Like, as the sun was setting, so the light was really pretty and then now the city's going to come to life. All of the light. The bus, the bright. Oh. And look at how empty this place is compared to the 89th floor. But no one's up here. And there's probably a handful. I'm glad it's not a cold day today. But can I just draw your attention to how many mountains and hills surround the city? Wow. Epic. has been so freaking cool you guys I highly recommend it. if you are in Taipei then you definitely should come and pay this a visit it's not been as busy as I thought and these views are so worth it you are gonna think of Taipei in such a different light when you see it from so high up above it has blown our expectations out of the water we are loving it <laughs> now wow. how is that for first impressions of a city eh? yeah first day here in Taiwan and we are greeted with beauty like this. Wow, well, you guys, there is a golden ball that sits between the 87th and the 92nd floor, and it is 660 tons. It costs 4 million USD, and it's basically this big, I don't know how to describe it, but it's a ball. Big that, weight. Yeah, and a Suspended. weight that is in the, like, yeah, held in the air, and it then counteracts if there's like an, uh, an earthquake or a typhoon or just like anything that's like a natural disaster and it causes the building to sway, this ball basically means that like it doesn't, it counteracts that. It stabilizes it. To make it stay still rather than let it sway or be damaged in like any event of a natural disaster. Or typhoon damage. or high winds, yeah. basically. That's the reason it's, it's there. It's crazy. That's like such a cool piece 660 tons, that is massive. This is what it looks like, suspended anywhere between, I, I don't know, 92nd floor to the 87th floor. Yeah. Imagine you've got this massive ball that's keeping the top of the building, this part here, all of that, 
from going side to side. One of the greatest engineering achievements in the world and it has won several awards for it, which is insane. Wow. All right, so we were on our way out, so you've got to queue up to catch the elevator. But look what we just found. Tune mass damper. The thing that we were talking about earlier upstairs when we were looking at the photo, now you can see the real deal. That's crazy. That makes me feel a little bit nervous standing looking at it after. So. Look, this is 660 tons of wow. steel. <laughs> And this is what keeps the building from swaying side to side when the winds pick up. This is epic! Wow, this is insane. This is mad. That's not. It's a little bit scary, actually. Like standing. That's a lot of weight. Right next to it. Yeah, that makes me feel nervous. Do you know another fun fact about this? What? Is this is one thousand of the overall weight of the entire building. It's 660 tons. What an engineering marvel this. We're looking for the MRT to get to our next stop. But this looks like um, we're in the basement. We've got quite a few shops here and this place is buzzing as well. Literally every single place here in Taiwan is so full of people. They love to come out and shop. What's this one doing then? Hello. What's your plan? Hello. Do you want a drink? Absolutely. We're having dinner after this as well, don't forget. Thank you. Okay, final place is here. Here? I think it's a full house, so secure this. I'll put that down for now. And let's see if we can find any other seats anywhere. I don't think so. This is uh, pretty full. This is why I was saying Taiwanese people love to eat everywhere you go. Full house, full house, full house. Everywhere outside, there's queues, queues, and queues. People on people. They just love to go out. Taiwanese people have this growing up culture. Food is a very important part here. We love food ourselves. Oh. Look at the chocolate cake. That looks rich as F. I mean, the amount of cream that they put on here, mm, that is definitely going to ruin dinner. But hey, ho, why not? We're all here for more food. <laughs> I like this. That's screaming and shouting at my name. It's like, please come eat me. This reminds me of the meme where it's like, snacks. <laughs> 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 I feel like that right now. Dig in, recharge our batteries. Pass over this beautiful <laughs> thing to me. Pick this up and then we crack on with our explorations here in Taiwan. So let's go. Guys, if you want to know how dedicated we are when it comes to 7-Eleven, the themed ones, because we only found out in Taiwan, you've got themed 7-Elevens. There's over 10, 12, something like that. We're going to one in a random neighborhood that was nowhere near where we were. Oh my God, that dog is ginormous. Where is it? That dog's a mechanic. It's fixing the car. <laughs> we're so distracted right now. It's unbelievable. But family mart. They're, they're not fun. Family marts, they're like normal. 7-Eleven is where all the real fun is. Do you see that there? That is where we've just come from. Taipei 101. But look at that. This is a Coca-Cola themed 7-Eleven. How crazy is this? I don't think we're buying anything here. We're just here to see the themed 7-Eleven. We might just get some Coke. There might be special Coke here. Look at this one. Okay. So far, it's not too cokey. Okay, you've got like the wall paint's got cola written on it. Some uh, Coca-Cola paint work here. So far, it's not really doing it for me, guys. Come on. Is there any special? No. Any special Coca-Cola? The fiber one. What's the colorful one next to it? That bottle looks nazi. Coca-Cola Y300 AI. What are you going to do? AI generated Coca-Cola. This me. has been manufactured by AI. Should we go upstairs and see what's happening? Yeah. Okay, everything else is like a normal 7-Eleven, so nothing schmancy here so far. <laughs> I think there might be something upstairs. It's got another floor, so maybe upstairs. Let's go upstairs and see if there's anything literally going on or not, if it's just the average 7-Eleven. However, I do see the timeline. This is probably how our cook has evolved over the years. 
What's happening here? Yes! It is different. Look at this. This is all Coca-Cola theme. But look at this. All of the tables. Coca-Cola with all the bottle caps. Nice. This is the main match, the memorabilia collectibles. This is so cool. Yeah, that's the Christmas collection. Look at that, Santa, Christmas Coke, Coca-Cola lorries. What else have we got? Massive Coke here. The sign, neon, not on right now. Oh, this is vintage Coke collection. This is cool. Oh, look at this. This is so cool. Listen, this was made by AI, all right? So it's gonna change your life now. There we go. You'll be buzzing in a minute. Best tasting Coke ever. Is it good? Oh, it's, um, it's a mix of flavors. It's not normal Coke. It's like fruity. Maybe like strawberry. Maybe peach. What? Oh, my 3000 limited time flavors, zero sugar, Coca-Cola creation, and co-created with AI. There you go. Limited time. Yes. Special edition. So here we are. We are part of history in 7-Eleven's Coca-Cola. Mic drop. AI created Coke. Do you know what I think? There's another 7-Eleven close by. Should we go yeah, check that one out? Yeah. There's actually, I think there's about 15 themed ones in Taipei. There is another one that we want to visit that we're going to take you to. We literally came to this neighborhood, which is nowhere near where we were. Let's head back down. Just because we wanted to see this Coca-Cola theme 7-Eleven. <laughs> We are right now in the area of Taipei Arena. Now I think the next one's coming up as well. And this one is an exciting one, you guys. I think it's my, my favourite one of today, but we should have to wait and see until we get there. I can see 7 Eleven sign. Here we go, the big reveal. Which one is this? What's the theme? It's Mickey Mouse. No way! The Mickey theme 7 Eleven. Look at that, the mouse is back! Woohoo! We came here especially for Libby because she's a massive Disney fan. Oh, I love you! Look, there's loads of different Mickey bits. We've got like some home bits, some water bottles. We even have what looks like a kettle over there. And these chairs are Mickey Mouse themed. Wow, this is life made. Look at this. Since 1928, Mickey, Mickey, Mickey. Oh, I'm loving it. Look, it's everywhere. Oh yeah, look at that. And then Mickey's all down the back. Ah! Oh, this is so cool. I love these little themed places. We even have, this looks like a little word searchy Mickey. We have an, oh gosh. And it all started with a mouse. That is pretty cool. <laughs> Guys, this what is a good idea. Taiwan is amazing yeah. with the theme 7-Elevens. This is so much fun, going on a little 7-Eleven theme 7-Eleven hunt around the city. So today, how many did we do? Three or three. four? Three. I like think we did that. three. Look at the chairs. <gasps> there's like Mickey Mouse ears, and then there's a Minnie Mouse bow. That, oh, look. It's all up here, there's a huge Mickey. Oh, I love it. Where does it start from? <laughs> Look at that, ready? Mickey, 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 Mickey. Legend, I love this. All right, you guys, I think we are done here. What a treat, this 7-Eleven has been. My family would love it. All right, I think we will be wrapping it up here. Our first day yeah. in Taipei has been amazing, incredible. We've had so much fun. So if you're new to the channel, we're Taz and Libby. Plenty more videos coming. So if you haven't subscribed yet, hit that subscribe, hit that yeah. like. Go check us out on Insta as well because it's updated daily. And we shall see you in the next one. Subscribe.